Well, summer is almost here and we've got an itch to go camping. We have a friend that's going out for the weekend and we thought, well, we'd love to go join him. So uh, we decided to get a rooftop tent for the Land Cruiser. Uh, it wasn't in the original plan, but uh, we thought, what the heck, let's give it a give it a shot, see what it's like. So I've got it all installed on there and now I'm getting ready to open it up for the first time. The week before this trip, I had just finished a huge project at work and I was feeling desperate for a vacation. Like I needed to unplug and get out of cell service and literally do nothing for a week. Our friends invited us to come along on their camping trip. So as my wife and I thought about joining them, we realized we wanted something comfortable to sleep in. This is when I decided that a rooftop tent was in order. The problem is we live in Montana where there are not many stores to just go pick out which rooftop tent you want. Nor did we have time to buy something online and wait for it to ship to us. So we chose the Tapui simply because it was the only option that was local and in stock. That being said, I'm really happy with the quality of this tent. Well, here it is. We're pretty excited to go out this weekend. When I was in my early 20s, I worked at an awning fabrication shop in Tacoma, Washington. Awnings are not so different from tents in many ways. And so I immediately recognized that the fabric, stitching, and hardware on this Tapui tent were high quality and would last a long time. The only real difficulty I had with the tent, apart from my initial struggle with the telescoping ladder, is that I had to climb all over the Land Cruiser to set it up completely. Unfolding the tent is simple and quick, but it's all the little awnings that become difficult when the tent is on top of a lifted truck. I suppose if this was a Subaru Outback or something, it would be much easier. Well, we're all loaded up. I've got the rooftop tent on the Land Cruiser and uh, we're all loaded up, got all the gear in the back and uh, we're getting ready to head out to Lower Thompson uh, to camp. I've never camped there before but we've got some friends that are there and we're going to meet them, do some fishing, do some relaxing and we're going to try out, this will be the first, really the first big trip with the Land Cruiser and, uh, and with our new rooftop tent. So we're excited. The big question is why would anyone want a rooftop tent for $1,700 instead of a regular tent on the ground for one or 200? Here are my thoughts about that. Number one, you don't have to find a flat piece of ground with no rocks, roots, or bushes to pitch your tent. If you can park fairly level, you can set up your rooftop tent and enjoy a level bed with a three inch memory foam mattress. Number two, being seven feet off the ground offers some peace of mind from wild animals. Here in Montana, I don't go a single night outdoors without wondering if a grizzly bear is going to explore my campsite in the middle of the night. I sleep soundly knowing that it would be difficult for a bear to climb into my rooftop tent. Number three, you won't wake up in a waterbed. One time when I was backpacking in the Cascade Mountains of Washington State, it rained all night and we woke up with a stream of water running under our tent. My friends in another tent were in a low spot where a puddle had formed under them about four inches deep. That can't happen if you're sleeping on top of your truck. Number four, technically you could camp anywhere. If you were on a long road trip and needed a place to sleep, you could pull into a Walmart and set up your rooftop tent. On the other hand, I would not want to set up a normal tent on the asphalt of a Walmart or a gas station parking lot. Number five, your camp takes up less space. Your truck, tent, and kitchen setup can all be basically the same footprint as your rig. This means that if you are camping with other people and their rigs, you can all fit in a campsite the size of all your trucks. In other words, you don't need enough parking for all the rigs and enough flat spots for everyone's tents. I hope this video has been helpful or even inspiring to any of you who are considering a rooftop tent. I don't think it's a must have piece of equipment, but it is convenient and has a number of unique benefits compared to a typical ground tent or a pull behind camper. Well, I'm looking forward to this year and all the adventures I get to have in my rooftop tent on the Land Cruiser. And I hope you follow along. Stay tuned. This is LDO Off-Road, and I'm Zach Eastwood.